Hey guys, I'm El Hari, number one international best-selling author and Twin Flame and Ascension alchemist, writer, teacher, and coach. And today I'm going to share with you 10 ways you can tell that your ex is your twin flame. Uh, I wanted to do this because, you know, there's, there's an entire industry out there of get your ex back. And even the law of attraction industry has gotten on that, you know, uh, manifest your ex or your specific person or whatever. And, you know, the majority of people out there, it just isn't working for. And there is a reason for that. Um, if that's the case with you, it's most likely that your ex is your twin flame. And those kind of things don't work with your twin flame, but we'll, we'll discuss that um, coming up in a little bit in this video. But right now, I'd just like to get into um, the... There are 10 ways. These aren't um, mutually exclusive. They're not, you don't have to tick every box here. Um, everyone's journey is unique and individual on the twin flame journey. Um, so you might recognize a couple of these. You might recognize a few of them, all of them, uh, none of them. <laughs> but, um, you know, it, so you don't have to tick every box here. This is just a basic um, guideline where you can think like, you know, maybe if you feel like you fit in to the majority of these or some of these resonate with you and you think, yes, that's exactly explaining what something that I've, I've been dealing with here, then there's a good chance that this, this, your ex is your twin flame. And this is a twin flame journey that you are experiencing. So without further ado, I will get into, um, 10 reason, 10 reasons why your ex could be your twin flame. So, um, the very, a very first, like very common re reason why or how uh, your ex could be your twin flame is that you just can't move on, right? Um, and you find yourself connecting everything and everyone to to your ex. Um, you know, in other words, you know, you look for people, um, other other people or in relationships or hookups or whatever that have some kind of quality that all of a sudden you're like, oh, my ex has that quality. So this will be a good person to hang out with or date or whatever, right? Or everywhere you go, um, you know, somehow you can, you can see, uh, you know, reminders of your ex there, even if they aren't places that you've been to before. And of course, the places that you've been to before, oh, I mean, it's devastating. You, you, you feel like you might can't even go back to those places sometimes. Um, so those kind of things, um, where you're connecting almost everything with your ex is a very good indication that, um, your ex is your twin flame and that you can't move on because doing that prevents you from moving on from, you know, really, uh, getting over your ex. And um, the reason why is because of the second reason on this list, which or the second indication on this list that your ex is your twin flame, which would be obsessive thinking and, be and behaviors. So, um, you know, if you are just, you know, from the moment you wake up in the morning to the moment you go to bed, like every minute, a minute doesn't go by where you don't think of your ex, you can't function, you can't focus on anything else. You know, your work suffers, your friendships suffer, your other relationships suffer. Um, you know, if you're a parent, it's, you know, you feel like you're, you're not a very good parent. You know, you, you can't even focus and be present with your kids because your mind is, is constantly consumed by thoughts of your ex. And it goes with behaviors as well. Those obsessive thoughts, they lead to obsessive behaviors. So if you find yourself constantly checking on your, your ex's social media, um, you know, on even their friends' social media, their family social media, the new person they're dating or seeing social media, you know, um, driving by their house, things like that, trying to always talk about them with their friends and stuff like that. There's a very good indication that your ex is your twin flame if you are engaging in those kind of obsessive behaviors and, and thoughts. And um, the next, the next um, indication that your ex might be your twin flame is that you experience core wound pain. So core wound pain is some kind of pain in either your heart, solar plexus, or sacral chakra usually. And the degree of this pain though can vary. So it can, it can vary from anything from like a tightening and a squeezing type pain all the way to feeling like literally your heart or your soul, your insides have been ripped out of you and there's a, a large gaping hole there. 
And if you're on that end of the spectrum, it's very painful. You, you probably can't get up off the floor some days. It's that painful. And um, this core wound pain is tied into your obsessive thoughts. And it's, you know, it's, it's fear-based. All these, these thoughts, this obsess, obsessive thoughts, obsessive behaviors, core wound pain, it's all due to fear-based energy within yourself. And so the fear-based energy causes you to have experience a lot of anxiety as well, um, panicky feelings, and um, of course the core wound pain. So um, if you're experiencing any kind of pain like that, especially in your heart, solar plexus or sacral chakra, it's a good indication that your ex is your twin flame. And okay, so the next indication is that you just can't stop talking about your ex. You know, you're talking about your ex all the time to your friends, to whoever will listen. Um, and, you know, not only do you, you bore your friends and drive them crazy with it, you find that no one understands what you're feeling about this. You know, people are just like, get over it or move on, you know, or you're only with that person for like six weeks or oh, whatever. You can do so much better and stuff, but they just don't get the degree um, of your pain. Um, and that's very common on this journey. Um, we have many of our students, most of our students have experienced that. I know I have as well. Um, and it's not that your friends are trying to be mean or anything like that. It's just that until you're here on this journey, experiencing what I'm describing in this video mostly, um, it's impossible to understand it. You know, I mean, if you weren't experiencing it yourself, you wouldn't understand it either, right? So um, that's another indication that your ex could be your twin flame if you can't stop talking about them to whoever will listen, pretty much. Okay, and the next indication is that your relationship, your you or others around you, your friends, people who care, um, uh, therapists, whoever you speak with about it, family members, um, mistake the relationship that with your ex as one of a toxic relationship or nar that your ex is a narcissist or um, it's an abusive relationship, you know, something along those lines. The twin flame uh, relating experience um, at the start of the journey um, can very much uh, mimic physically um, sort of, um, you know, uh, like, like a very toxic relating experience. Um, and, you know, we have a lot of people who come to us um, at first thinking, you know, that their ex was just a narcissist, but no, they're not. Um, they're, they're twin flame. And, you know, the, the way you can tell a difference between, for example, a narcissist um, and a twin flame is that the narcissist is, would, would have tried to take something from you would have tried to get something out of you. And then they'll come around to try to get something out of you and from you again. Here's the thing with the twin flame. The twin flames, once they, um, they physically break up, so to speak, and they're physically apart, the twin flame, if, that, if your ex is a twin flame, they won't be able to uh, you know, try to get anything from you. They don't wanna take anything from you. They wanna leave all of you there because the energy that's causing them to leave you physically prevents them from even turning their focus towards you, prevents them from even trying, being able to uh, take something from you. You know, it, it's it's more the energy is pulling them away from you, so they don't want to even take anything from you, if that resonates. Um, so that's that's a surefire way to determine if you're dealing with a narcissist or a twin flame. Narcissists, you know, their whole point is to get something from you and from everyone, right? Um, so uh, there's one way to tell. But, you know, if you find people constantly telling you, oh, you, you know, your ex is a narcissist or, you know, oh, that's a toxic relationship, or, um, you know, anything like that, that means that could be a good indication to, for you to take a step or take a minute and just look and see, wait, really assess honestly, uh, you know, did my ex actually, you know, try to take stuff from me? Did, he, did they steal from me? Did they, um, you know, try to abscond with money <laughs> from me or anything like that? 
And if not, and they just like suddenly like ghosted or, you know, disappeared, then it's more likely than not a, your twin flame and not your ex. The next um, indication that your ex is your twin flame is that you're seeing the numbers 1111, like out of the, like, uh, like place, random places where you go, you look at the clock and it's 1111, or, um, you know, you, you're driving down the street and the license plate in front of you is 11, has 1111 on it, or you go to an address and it's 1111. Um, that's very common um, indicator that you are dealing with your twin flame. I'm not gonna get into the particulars of why or what or all that, that they're beyond the scope of this, of this video, but suffice to say that 1111 is the spiritual number of twin flames. And um, even more so, uh, you know, almost like the gateway to um, your own soul, your own truth. And your twin flame is your soul. They share your soul. So um, that would that would make sense, right? <laughs> so if you're seeing the number 1111 in a lot of places, um, that's a very good indication that um, your ex could be your twin flame as well. Okay, um, I have a list that I'm reading from, so I can remember all these, so excuse me for doing this. Um, so uh, the next indication is that you are somehow, some way led towards spiritual or woo-woo um, arenas for answers to what is going on with you. Um, and this can be particularly helpful to discern if your ex is your twin flame, if you're not a particularly spiritual or woo-woo person to begin with. Um, you know, and by that, I mean, like, you know, you're, you turn to, you're, you're turning to psychics, to spellcasters, to, um, you know, spiritual advisors to help you through this rather than say, um, maybe with other relationships in the past, first of all, you're probably able to get over them much easier, but you know, you would maybe go to, um, you know, maybe a therapist, you go more the psychological mental route. Well, with this, you're somehow guided or led to seek out spiritual woo-woo type um, answers for um, for what's going on. And that's just because this is a spiritual journey. The twin flame journey is all about your soul. It's, all, it's a spiritual journey. So your soul's going to never lead you astray. Your soul's going to lead you to where you need to be. So if you're watching this video right now, your soul led you here, right? So you need to hear this. So hopefully you're resonating with stuff in this video. Um, and, you know, even if you don't go actively seeking um, spiritual guidance or, you know, um, answers and with, with psychic readings or anything like that. Um, we have a good number of students who, uh, you know, didn't go seeking that stuff out and found us because for some reason we were just showing up on their social media. So if you turned on, you know, you went on your YouTube channel today and then we popped up suddenly out of nowhere as a video recommended for you, that's a good indication that your soul brought it in, you're meant to see it, this video, because there's, you know, there's a message in here for you and you'll resonate. So um, whether, you know, we show up in your news feed somehow or, you know, on your Instagram, whatever, YouTube, um, that's how many, many of our students have found us and realized like, and just first learned of a twin flame journey and even because they weren't spiritual and they weren't woo woo, um, but, you know, they just, we just showed up somehow on their social media and they somehow found us. So that's another indication. Um, the next indication is uh, that, yeah, you are devastated. You've been devastated beyond normal heartbreak, beyond uh, normal depression, absolutely floored. Um, you know, you might have felt like your world completely flipped upside down and you're confused. You don't understand what's going on. Um, and that devastation combined with um, the core wound pain uh, could cause you to, and the obsessive thoughts, could cause you to, you know, pretty much be dysfunctional in your everyday life. Um, you know, and even to forego eating. You don't even want to eat a lot of times. Um, so many of us on this journey, um, so many of our students uh, lost, lose a lot of weight because they just can't eat on this journey. Not a healthy way to lose weight, but you know, it's just, um, it's a very common, common byproduct of this journey, a very common symptom. So if that's you and it's beyond normal heartbreak, um, it's a good chance that your ex is your twin flame. And the next uh, indication that your ex could be your twin flame is that you were just completely 
shocked. Shocked by the breakup. It seemingly came out of nowhere. Uh, maybe, you know, seemingly as a result of something really insignificant, you know, that would, uh, that would, you know, have no reason to break up two people who had such a strong, close, amazing connection with each other, right? Um, and, you know, it kind of like blindsides you. Like how, um, maybe it was like start as an argument or whatever, or maybe, you know, for a week or so, you, you kind of felt a little distance building in there. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, one day all of a sudden, and then they're gone, right? Um, it, it's kind of like that. And it kind of like just hits you from the side, blindsides you. And like I said before, like your whole world might flip upside down. Like the, the rug is pulled out from under you. No explanation. You just don't understand. You're left very, very confused. You were searching for answers. And um, that's another very common indication that your ex is your twin flame. And finally, the 10th indication that your ex could be your twin flame is that none of the usual or all of those things out there that I mentioned in the beginning, those get your ex back and law of attraction, manifest your specific person type things, they're not, do not work. They're not working for you. They haven't worked and they don't work. Um, even things that you might take upon yourself, like, uh, maybe with other exes, you eventually like, you know, with drunk text them or whatever, or drunk show up at their house and you, you'd at least get to hook up with them, right? Um, that doesn't work. Your twin flame wants no part of it. Um, and that's just based on the energy. What's going on with the energy? Remember I talked about the energy, how the energy is pulling your twin flame away from you. Well, um, it's because of that pull energy that none of those kind of things will work with your twin flame. None of them will. You can't use any kind of manipulation, any kind of flirtation, any kind of seduction, any kind of tricks, um, techniques, any kind of thoughts or sending energy waves out to them. Because remember, they're pulling. The more you're pushing your energy, the more they're pulling away, right? So none of that stuff is going to work if it's your twin flame. So um, that's the 10 indications that your ex could be your twin flame. Now, if you would like extra um, uh, guidance or maybe um, our opinion, <laughs> our professional opinion, if what you're dealing with could be a twin flame journey, um, I invite you to schedule a free clarity consultation with one of our amazing clarity clarity coaches. Um, they will be able to discern right away um, in an honest, understanding, compassionate, totally confidential call uh, what is going on with your situation and if we can help you and the best way we can help you. So um, definitely, if, if that resonates with you, if anything, if one thing in this video resonated with you, uh, you owe it to yourself to click the link below this video. You'll see many things that we have available, but there's definitely, there's one for a free clarity consultation. Click that link, schedule your clarity consultation, and um, we'll, we're, we welcome the chance to really sit down and, and listen to your story, where you're at, what's going on with you, and your situation, and your ex, and to um, guide you in the best way that we know how. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope this helped. Have an amazing week and lots of love.